sheriff's investigators were busy today interviewing possible witnesses and following a new lead as two families tonight are desperate for answers and still heartbroken by this tragedy. I was right because they killed him. Laquitia Jackson's gut-wrenching <laughs> agony what about my heard through this South Houston neighborhood just yesterday. Her sister, 24-year-old Crystal Jackson, was found murdered. What did they do to you for you to kill my sister? You, you beat my sister up. You just... You, you messed her up to the point she can't breathe no more. Laying next to Jackson's beaten body, her longtime girlfriend, 24-year-old Brittany Cosby. Both bodies were discovered early Friday morning next to this convenience store dumpster in Port Bolivar. I would never hear her voice again and never thought that it would come my time to bury my child. Jackson's father says he last heard from his daughter on Wednesday. He said she worked as a security guard, Cosby, a barista at Starbucks. Both lived at Cosby's great grandmother's home. Because I never heard from her anymore. And uh, that night I didn't hear from her. That was Wednesday night when the couple took a trip to Galveston for Mardi Gras. Cosby had just bought a new car. Investigators still looking for that silver 2006 Kia Sorento. They didn't have to die. Whatever it was, it was so petty. It wasn't, you know, why well, come to that conclusion? Cosby's family is equally grieving, now pleading for someone to come forward with answers. To give us closure as a family, just yeah. come forward, because we need closure at this point. Have a conscience, you know, and, and come forward and be honest about what happened. Hopefully the truth can heal some of the agony. <laughs> and pain of losing two women. Many Two men were arrested in the attack that police say stemmed over the victim's relationship with another woman. Only Mega Sugianto spoke with the victim and has this 1011 exclusive. Mega. You know what, Josh? The victim says she's been tormented by her family ever since she started dating her girlfriend. And the couple are in shock that it got to this point. It was something they would never expect. Just this blue truck came up and basically, like, what I thought was... A 22-year-old Lincoln woman and a girlfriend were coming home from the park when they say a hooded man dashed out of that truck with a crowbar in hand and tried to kill her. First I didn't know who it, who it was. And then, then I finally realized that, you know, it was, it was my brother. The victim, who didn't want to be on camera, remembers the attack. He had um, a crowbar in his hand. He tried to hit me with it. But I managed to get away, get in the car, and I locked the door, and he just continued to hit on, like, my, my side, and he just hit it and hit it and hit it and kept hitting it. Her brother hit her car, creating lots of damage, but it wasn't only that. He chased her down the street, attempting to push them onto oncoming traffic. The victim told me that her relationship with her younger brother was rocky, but she always took care of him. He wasn't violent until early this year when she came up front that she is gay. She says her lifestyle is seen as a disgrace to her family because of their religion. It's the biggest 
sin to them. It's just bringing shame on the whole family. She also tells me that it's so bad because of her culture that she's the outcast. And if her brother was successful at killing her... Like if my uncles and stuff like that were all... I think they'd be all very proud of them. The victim couldn't believe this happened. I don't understand how they could do that to their own, to their own child.